Early voting is setting records, and in-person voting is expected to be up as well, with many voters encountering lines at the polls. Lindsay Buckingham is live in Cleveland for us tonight. Lindsay, good evening to you. What have you been seeing today? Hi, Russ. Well, we're at St. Mel Parish on Triscuit Road in Cleveland. When you first checked in with us at 4 o'clock, we were in the parking lot. We saw a lot of parents showing up, maybe grabbing their kids from school and then heading to the polls. But let me show you what we are seeing now. Now we are getting the pre-dinner rush, a lot of people getting off of work. But the good news here at St. Mel is even though those voting booths are filled up, there is no line. So no matter the reason that people are here today, some had very special reasons for casting their vote. At United Hope in Richmond Heights, folks of all ages stood in line to cast their votes. For some, waiting for a turn to submit a ballot is routine. For others, like Will and Angie Barnett, it's a lesson in history for their young son. It, it matters because it's going to be, you know, next few years of your life, so you might as well have your voice in that opinion, you know what I mean? Um, because I want him to know how important it is to vote, and I want to be a good example for him so he knows the process when he gets old enough to vote for himself. Patrick Brown is 65 years old, a registered voter since he was 18. Being here is important to him, but he also says it brings people together, no matter who they believe in. Just want to be a part of um, the system and see what's going on. And sometimes you get to meet people and hear different conversation about it. And uh, it's good to get out and, and mingle. You see some of your neighbors that you didn't even know. And back out here at St. Mel Parish, we see a few people now standing in line, but nothing too long at all. A lot of people coming to cast their vote before dinner time. We'll also see a rush probably right at the 6 o'clock hour. But all in all, not too big of a rush here at all. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from a man who's voted for 47 years plus. Russ, the reason why he tells us he feels so honored to stand in line. All right, we'll look forward to seeing that. Lindsay Buckingham live in Cleveland. Thank you. Meanwhile, our Monica Robbins is live at the center of it all, at least for Cuyahoga County, the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections. Monica, how are things going there? It doesn't look too terribly busy behind you. No, I'm inside the Board of Elections right now, and it's not too terribly busy because only inside here can you vote if you need a provisional ballot. So the provisional ballots, mainly if your address changed on your driver's license and it doesn't match your current residence, that's when you can only come in here to get a provisional ballot. However, I need to tell you this. This is pretty exciting because Cuyahoga County was hoping 300,000 people would vote in this election and just literally moments ago. They just surpassed 302,648 voters in Cuyahoga County. That's 58% turnout in Cuyahoga County alone. That's really incredible, and I'm sure the weather has a lot to do with that. Keep in mind, the polls close. We still have another two hours, so we're going to go way beyond that as people get off of work. Keep in mind the mailed ballots, uh, if you know, you can bring them down here and drop them off. They still have poll workers here. You can drop them off here in Cuyahoga County if you didn't get yours in the mail. Obviously, if you were in line before 730, stay in line. You can you can vote. There were 158,249 ballots returned by mail in Cuyahoga County, and I thought this was really interesting. Um, there were 2,000 uh, people voting from nursing homes, two from jail, 12 from hospitals, and more than 2,000 people voted from military and overseas citizens who voted absentee. And, of course, more than 240,000 early voting in those mail-in I was telling you about. They will be the first votes that are counted, and we will be heading over to the warehouse for the counting when they start that at 7.30, bets. Back to you. Yeah, we know that there were, you know, record numbers of early voters turned in. They had already surpassed those 2020 mm -hmm. numbers. And if I recall back, I've got the 2020 post-election profile up. Uh, it was a 71 percent turnout out in Cuyahoga County for that 2020 election. So yeah. we'll see where things go from here. Monica Robbins live at our BOE yeah. tonight. Thank you.